Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to the Kwaipu video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about working with dialog box in Kwaipu. So Selenium versus Kwaipu. As we know, in Selenium, we have a method called driver.switch2 and within the switch2, there is a method called alert where this method is responsible for handling the dialog box or in other words the uh, alert boxes where you can perform some of the operation like accept or dismiss to hit OK or to hit cancel or it can also be a S button or a no button. If you want to get the text out from a dialog box then you use the dot text property in that. Whereas in Kwaipu as we already know it's a DSL where you can accept the dialog box by just accessing a method called accept model dialog. So, and you can see there is no like uh, driver dot switch to dot alert dot accept. So there are like three methods involved in that. Whereas in Kwaipu, uh, you don't have to call so many methods. Rather, there is just only one method called accept model dialog. So browser session dot accept model dialog will perform the clicking of yes or OK button and browser session dot cancel model dialog method will do a cancel or a no button click and if you want to verify if the dialog box is there or not then you can use this has dialog method and if you want to get some of the text out from these dialog box then you can of course uh, use this has dialog box method sorry has dialog method to get the or verify whether the particular text is available in there or not. So this is how you can actually perform some of the operation with Kwaipu as opposed to Selenium. So for a clear understanding of how these things works, I'm going to start working with it. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this series. And what I'm going to do this time to work with the dialog box is to again copy some of the code from this method, whereas this method is going to be responsible for opening the browser and entering the username and password for our website and clicking the login button. Of course, I need this as well because in our website, we have this uh, generate JavaScript alert button only after logging in. So if you click this uh, button, it will show you a alert box saying you generated a JavaScript alert. And if you hit OK, then it will say you pressed OK. And if you press cancel, then the message will say you pressed cancel. So we can just verify if I really clicked OK and if I get this message saying you pressed OK. And if I click cancel, then I can verify whether the you pressed cancel message is coming or not. So this is what is the scenario that, that I'm going to do using Kwaipu. So for doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy some of the code from here basically to reduce or to save some time. So I'm going to copy this code and then I'm going to go over here and just paste it. And here it is going to be test dialog box. So once the login is done, I need to click the generate button. So for that, let's write the method quickly. So generate and browser dot click button and the button is actually generate. I'm going to click the OK button. So for that, as I said, there is a method called accept model dialog. So this method will basically click OK or yes from the model dialog. So I'm going to call this method, right? And if I call this method, basically it's going to click the OK button. But if I want to verify whether the alert box which I clicked OK is going to return me you clicked OK message then I need to verify that somehow so as I already said there is a text property in our selenium whereas in Kwaipu we have a method called has dialog so we can verify th from that as well so as we are working in Kwaipu let's use that method so browser dot has oops has dialog and in this method I'm going to pass the text there so the text is you pressed ok I'm gonna save it and let's get the text out from it so var 
dialog message is equal to right so this is going to give me the message and i'm going to verify uh whether the text is going to be the same one which i'm expecting or not so i'm going to call assert dot that method of my n unit and within this i'm going to pass the dialog message and basically this has dialog is going to return me true or false if this message is there then it's going to return me true if this message is not there then it's going to return me false so in this assert dot that method i'm verifying whether i'm getting a true or not so if i'm getting a false message then i will get a message saying the message oops the message displayed is not the one we were expecting all right so i'm going to save this so let's quickly build the solution all right let's go to the test explorer and you can see the test dialog box method appears and i'm going to run the selected test so it opened the browser it should log in and boom and you can see that the message got passed as well right the test got passed because the message is perfect and right now let's do a small test whether we are really verifying this message or not so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add an exclamation mark additionally and if i run this test now this time my expectation is the test should fail so let's see what's going to happen all right it opened the browser okay and now my test should fail there we go so you can see that the message the message displayed is not the one we are expecting great so this got failed because it's verifying the dialog message which is appearing in my page and it's checking whether it's correct or not which is great so this is how you can work with your dialog boxes with Quaipu in your web pages and you can also do some additional testing using this dialog box like cancel model dialog to click the cancel button if you want to so this is up to you like how you do that if you want to click a cancel button you can just call the cancel model dialog method which will do the operation for you so this simple it is in Quaipu you can perform the operation with dialog boxes thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day